we're going to simplify the following expressions. To simplify this first expression, we apply the quotient property of exponents shown here, a raised to the power of m divided by a raised to the power of n equals a raised to the power of m minus n. So when dividing and the bases are the same, we subtract the exponents, and it's always the top exponent minus the bottom exponent. So looking at our fraction here, notice how we have three quotients, one involving base three, one involving base a, and one involving base b. And before we apply the quotient property, let's write three as three to the first. So three to the first divided by three to the negative one is equal to three raised to the power of one minus negative one. And then we have a to the second divided by a raised to the power of negative five, which equals a raised to the power of two minus negative five. And then finally we have b to the negative one divided by b to the third, which is equal to b raised to the power of negative one minus three. So this is equal to three raised to the power of one minus negative one is one plus one or two. A raised to the power of two minus negative five, which equals two plus five or seven. And B raised to the power of negative one minus three, so we have B raised to the power of negative four. When expressing a simplified expression, we must use only positive exponents. So now we'll apply the negative exponent property shown here. A raised to the power of negative M equals one over A raised to the power of positive M. One way to remember this exponent rule is to write a to the negative m as a fraction with a denominator of one, and then if we move a to the negative m down to the denominator, the sign of the exponent changes. So if we write this expression as a fraction, the denominator is one, so if we move b to the negative four down to the denominator, the sign of the exponent changes. We can also evaluate three squared. Three squared equals three times three, which equals nine, and therefore the expression simplifies to nine a to the seventh over b raised to the power of positive four. Notice how the a to the seventh stayed in the numerator because it has a positive exponent. Now let's look at the next expression. For this expression we cannot simplify the fraction first because notice how the numerator is raised to the power of negative three. The denominator is raised to the power of negative one. So we'll first apply the power property of exponents shown here, a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n equals a raised to the power of m times n. So when we have powers to powers, we multiply the exponents. You need to be careful here with the negative two though. This negative two is really negative two raised to the first power. Now we'll multiply all the exponents in the numerator by negative three. So we'd have negative two raised to the power of one times negative three, which is negative three x raised to the power of negative four times negative three, y raised to the power of negative three times negative three. In the denominator, we'll multiply all the x ones by negative one, so we'll have x raised to the power of two times negative one, y raised to the power of two times negative one, and z raised to the power of two times negative one. So in the numerator we have negative two raised to the power of negative three, x raised to the power of negative four times negative three, which is positive 12, y raised to the power of negative three times negative three, which is positive nine. In the denominator we have x to the negative two, y to the negative two, z to the negative two. Notice how we only have the base of negative two in the numerator and it has a negative exponent. So we'll move the base of negative two raised to the power of negative three down to the denominator, which will change the sign of the exponent to positive three. So in the denominator we have negative two raised to the power of positive three. Notice here we have a quotient involving x and a quotient involving y. When applying the quotient property of exponents shown here, when we subtract the exponents, if we have a fraction, the result is in the numerator. So x to the twelfth divided by x to the negative two is equal to x raised to the power of twelve minus negative two in the numerator. And then we have y to the ninth divided by y to the negative two, which is equal to y raised to the power of nine minus negative two in the numerator. And then we still have z to the negative two 
in the denominator to express this using a positive exponent, we'll move this up to the numerator, and therefore we'd have z raised to the power of positive two in the numerator. And finally, we'll simplify these exponents. So we have x raised to the power of 12 minus negative two, which is 12 plus two, or 14. And then we have y raised to the power of nine minus negative two, which is nine plus two, or 11. We have z squared. In the denominator, we have negative two raised to the power of three, which equals negative two times negative two times negative two, which is negative eight. So this is one form for the simplified expression. But we can also write this with the negative sign out in front of the fraction as negative x to the 14th, y to the 11th, z to the second, all over positive eight. Either of these last two expressions would be considered the simplified form of the given expression. I hope you found this helpful.